Happy Monday, Pokemaniacs. Let's get into some Pokemon news. Today we've got lots of collectibles like this new wave of Raymond figures because these are some of my favorite things. So I love that there's a new wave of Terrarium collections. This one is titled Pokemon Terrarium Collection EX Paldea. It's a crazy name, but this collection does release in Japan in January. It has Pikachu and Palmy. We've got the Paldean first partners. There's Tatsugiri in there and Clodsire, who is just stoked to be here and love to see it. The next wave of Pokemon Funkos is hitting retailers, so we do have links for pre-orders on Umbreon, Apom, and Sobble. Release dates are all kind of varying for these, so some are saying in October, some are saying November, so I'm going to have links down below for you if you want to pre-order these things or if you want to check out any of the other collectibles that we talked about in this video, just in case you want to increase your collection. And speaking of Funkos, we did actually get a new photo of a Diamond Lapras. Not exactly sure when this will be heading our way, but it should be heading our way. Funko was always doing like special events where they release stuff like this, and this does look like it's a Funko.com exclusive based on that giant sticker on the front. But in the next big drop that Funko is doing, I didn't see this on anything, so maybe it'll be on a next one, maybe like in November or something. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on. And in the last video, and many ones in the past we've talked about the latest wave of super articulated figures because we finally got links they're finally alive and wouldn't you know it just as soon as i dropped my video last week they posted up the two we were waiting for with mewtwo and raikou so just in case i'll have those linked over at target for you but now that we finally have those four out of the way now we just need to get garchomp so here's to hoping that uh, me posting this video gets us the garchomp link over on target but i'm not holding my breath entei was also previewed not too long ago that one's not going to come until 2024, so also that one we got a little bit of a wait for. Mega has some new collections coming our way. First up, we have Charmander's Crystal, which has the little like motion wheel thing that you can make it so these flames got all like animated. And I love Charmander's face here because it's just like, yes, fire! Because it is just like so pleased with just the flames coming. Like, the, I just love it, just the mischief that's in its face. And I also didn't realize this, but you can hook these up to other motion sets and they you can just twist the one knob and it moves them all. And that's pretty rad. Also for Mega, we have some photos of some other upcoming sets like the Vulpix and Ninetales set. There's also a Deluxe Motion Eevee. There is a Motion Emolga and Bulbasaur set. And then there's a Fire Pokemon 4 pack with Charmander, Salandit, Scorbunny, and Litwick. And the Pokemon Center and Van Gogh collaboration, we all know, it probably didn't go according to plan. It does seem like some of you were able to get some of the collection, so congrats to you guys. Very jealous. However, it does seem like some people have started to get cancellation emails, saying that they're not going to be able to get their order fulfilled. And then there's another batch of people who only received part of their order. Thankfully, though, in those cases, they still got the promo card. But then, we have a whole other bucket of people who put in their orders and did not get the promo card, probably because they put in the orders maybe a little bit too fast, where the promo wasn't live. Uh, hopefully that's what it is and it's not like a mishap in the shipping center so all of this stuff is just it's really unfortunate to see with ever since like the big craze of like i think it was 2020 with the pandemic like pokemon got this huge resurgence of popularity and pokemon center is still struggling to keep up with all of the bots and people trying to resell their products to be fair though most sites struggle with this uh, but there's usually other parameters that come into play like memberships which kind of sucks but at the same time you do get your spot in line or maybe the you know the solution could be like putting limits on how many times someone can purchase with a certain billing method or a certain household because it definitely seems like these bots and these people these people who are trying to resell the product are getting past these normal deterrents like having to put a puzzle piece into a little thing or like whatever captcha like i can't even do those things but at least pokemon is looking at releasing a next wave of the van gogh collaboration to hopefully get these products into the hands of collectors but i do imagine a lot of these products will still end up in the hands of the resellers I don't know if there's any way around it. Last week though, Detective Pikachu returned in Detective Pikachu Returns on the Nintendo Switch. And it seems like it's getting mostly very mixed reviews. Thankfully, it is just mostly about the graphics. So if all you can come up with is the graphics are not great in a game, which I totally admit that these graphics are nothing to write home about, that's a pretty good game. Anyways, to celebrate my Nintendo, you have new icons you can pick up for Detective Pikachu Returns. You can purchase these with your My Nintendo Platinum points. Personally, I don't know if I'm gonna snag any of these, but I, don't know, I might change my mind because at the end of the month we get the Pikachu hanging out on his side, all he's all sexy style right there. I'm contemplating it. And if November is your birthday month, or your birthday is just within the next year, and you're in Japan for your birthday, this is a very ex specific example, but hear me out. You can head over to any Japanese Pokemon Center and get yourself a code for a Charcadet, 
or a POMI for your Scarlet and Violet game, but it's only during your birthday month. The promo starts November 1st and goes through October 31st of 2024. Plus, they'll also give you this cool like Pokemon bouquet card for your birthday. And this is per So this is all a pretty sweet deal. And starting this week on October 13th, Friday the 13th, GameStop in US and Canada is going to be doing a code distribution for Mimikyu. This is gonna be an electric Terra type Mimikyu and really hoping that they actually get these on time because my GameStop still doesn't have the 151 promos. And in sad but not surprising news, Nintendo has announced that they will be ending online services for the Wii U and the 3DS. So coming up in April of 2024, we will be losing those online services on those platforms. They do state though that Pokemon Bank will remain active past that date. However, they do encourage players to transfer their Pokemon from Bank to Pokemon Home at their earliest convenience. And personally, I feel like that's just a really nice way to say, hey, we're gonna get rid of Pokemon Bank, so move your Pokemon. It's not an official statement by any means, but it just, eventually these things will end. Just like this video is ending right now, so thank you guys for watching this far in the video. You, I mean, you made it this far, hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Can you guys believe that Paradox Rift is like about to come out in just a few weeks? It's crazy. Anyways, take care of each other out there, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.